If you're seriously addicted to adventure games, then great news. You can now stash them in your pants and take them wherever you go, thanks to this little bugger right here. The Apple App Store is absolutely chock full of fantastic point and click titles from the past and the present. And here's our pick of the 10 best right now. Wadjet Eye Games is a name that crops up time and time again in this roundup of the best adventure games for iOS, and there's a pretty bloody good reason for it too. This publisher has delivered some of the most enthralling and brilliant point and click titles of this century. And Techno Babylon, a dystopian sci-fi tale which plays out kind of a little bit like a far smarter version of Ready Player One, is one of Wadjet's greatest, thanks to its gritty story, unique setting and fantastic attention to detail. It's 2087 and society looks very different to now, although the same old problems do of course exist. A socially awkward housebound girl called Lava exists almost solely in a mind state known as the Trance, which delivers a more appetising version of reality for its users. However, when she finds herself suddenly targeted by a mysterious killer, Lava has to venture out of her apartment and seek the help of other humans. Throughout the game you'll swap between Lava and two police agents, Charlie and Max, who are tasked with tracking down that cyber assassin. As you come closer to uncovering the truth, the torrid and thoroughly gripping tale gradually unravels, with some pretty powerful twists along the way. If you're a Monkey Island fan, you absolutely have to pick up Nelly Cootalot. This iOS adventure game is almost a spiritual sequel to the classic LucasArts title, thanks to the rather bonkers plot and the wry, rib-tickling humour. Nelly Cootalot is the pirate heroine of the game, tasked with stopping the nefarious plot of Baron Widebeard. The cartoon graphics and animation are gorgeous and the voice acting, including the dulcet tones of none other than Tom Baker, perfectly suits the wacky cast of characters. Oh and thank god for that hotspot highlighter too, which points you to any items that you may have missed on your first sweep, thus saving your precious iPhone from being hurled against a wall in frustration. This first person adventure sees you trapped in the family emergency bunker after some kind of mysterious horrific event which may or may not involve lots of humans turning into zombies. Your only personal contact is your sister, stuck somewhere outside at the other end of a walkie talkie. By solving a variety of puzzles scattered through the shelter, your plan is to escape this safe haven and get to your stranded sibling, hopefully before she becomes one of those dribbly brain munchers. All That Remains offers a solid challenge throughout its short running time, although the episodic nature means that we only have part 1 so far. Here's hoping that part 2 isn't far off. Ron Gilbert of Monkey Island fame came back with a bang in 2017 with the release of new adventure title Thimbleweed Park. This surreal murder mystery casts you as a diverse selection of characters, from detective with slightly murky intentions, to a sweary clown and even a melancholic ghost, as a mysterious murder brings them all together. This is classic point and click through and through, with the same darkly humorous tone of Monkey Island but set in a more modern environment. You even get an old school actions panel for interacting with the world, something that we haven't seen in quite some time. Nostalgia is certainly rife, although the gameplay and the plot do feel brilliantly fresh. Mist stirs up all kinds of emotions inside of my belly gut, their primary one being a good dose of depression as I realise it's now 25 bloody years old, which means that most kids probably have no sodden clue what it even is. And even if they did, they'd probably call it sad, or whatever the current day version of sad is. Anyway, this spruced up version known as Real Mist is available right now on the App Store, featuring an updated control scheme, a full hint guide and a fresh new edge to explore. It's easy to control, perfectly suited to a touchscreen device, and those puzzles are still as brain-poundingly obtuse as ever. And if you're a true masochist, you can also pick up the sequel, Riven, which is officially harder than a dozen Jason Stathams all stapled together. One of the most famous point and click adventure games of all time is undoubtedly the globetrotting adventure Broken Sword, helped in large part by that unforgettable goat puzzle. This adventure sees you thwartering a dark conspiracy, as intrepid pair George Storbutt and Nico Collard. The story holds up well and this director's cut version isn't a simple lazy repackaging either. You get a number of fresh plot tweaks to shake things up a bit and some new puzzles to solve too. So even Broken Sword veterans have a reason to download onto their iPhones and curse that bloody goat on their daily commute. Another classic adventure game, Simon the Sorcerer is now over two decades old, but still a chucklesome and hard as nails point and click title. This mobile remaster features high def graphics, although you can also play with the original graphics if you like. Thankfully a hotspot highlight feature has also been introduced, so you don't need to pog every last pixel to find those interactive objects, definitely one of the main reasons that we struggled to complete the bloody thing back in the 90s. 
This gripping sci-fi noir thriller may look like another remake of a classic adventure game thanks to its pixelated graphics, but Gemini Roo is actually only a few years old. That retro styling comes courtesy of developer Wadget Eye, who of course also did Techno Babylon, and that old school presentation definitely suits this grimy noir thriller absolutely perfectly. You play as two different characters, a grizzled assassin and a prisoner trapped in a bizarre futuristic prison complex, with the ability to switch between them at any point. Watching as the complex plot unfolds is a true joy, while the gripping gameplay makes this one of the best adventures of recent times. Even the brief action sequences are well integrated and actually fun to play. Huzzah! LucasArts classic point and click adventure inspired by the Mexican Day of the Dead celebration has been remastered and brought back to glorious life, so to speak, for a whole new generation of gamers. Strong voice work, striking visuals and a very dry sense of humour help Grim Fandango to stand out from the adventure game crowd, while the epic story will take you many, many, many hours to complete. Noobs be warned however, this is a traditional point and click game, which means it doesn't hold your hand. There's some really tough bits that would stumble even seasoned pros. Don't worry though, if you do resort to an internet walkthrough, we won't judge. Much. If you haven't played this brilliant LucasArts adventure game and you own an iPad or an iPhone, then bloody hell, stop everything right now and go and download it. Day of the Tentacle isn't simply one of the best adventure games you can play on iOS, it's also one of the greatest games of all time. Day of the Tentacle, or Dr. T for short, sees you controlling three different geeky friends who find themselves scattered through time as they desperately try and reverse the maniacal actions of an evil purple tentacle, as you do. The glorious cartoon visuals, ridiculous gags and surreal puzzles make this classic adventure worth every last penny. So that was our pick of the 10 best adventure games available on iOS right now, but it doesn't quite end there you see, because there were so many great adventures on the App Store that we couldn't limit it to just 10. So what have we done? We've only gone and shot a part 2 with 10 more chuffing great adventures that you can grab right now for iPhone and iPad. So go check that out, give us a like and a subscribe, and don't forget to say hi to your mum for me. Cheers.